Civic Voices is an international civic education project. We're bringing together teachers from eight different countries to recruit their students to go out into their communities, find civic activists who participate in different democratic struggles, and do hour-long oral history interviews with them. Afterwards, those interviews are going to be loaded onto a website. We sang the Tibetan National Anthem and unfurled this banner that said, One World, One Dream, Free Tibet. As a group, we learned so much about him, about his life story, and about Tibet's conflict with China. We think it has great benefit to his students. We really want them to interact directly with these people, to hear their stories firsthand, and to think about themselves not only as researchers of history, but as participants in history, just like the people that they're talking to. When I teach the apartheid movement in, in the classroom, they said that happened a long time ago, that was, it's old news, we don't need to go back there, let's do something more exciting. Taking technology into that classroom would be like a total awe-inspiring thing for my kids. They'll be so excited to actually be able to use a video camera, to, to have a laptop and, and to showcase their work. The technology will actually bring history back. We also recently had our first exchange program bringing together teachers from each of our seven different partner countries to the United States for a two-week study visit. They had the chance not only to observe how American teachers interact with their students and conduct their classes, but they had a chance to get in and teach a lesson for students, which gives students a chance to talk to somebody who they may never have talked to otherwise and to interact with a teacher from a different country. I think that it's a great idea because all of the world teachers have the same problems uh, with education and uh, with the kids. These are the students that have been involved in the project for Civics Voices and we're very happy that they have the opportunity to share their videos and their transcripts with you. The students got to present their civic activist and they discussed the background and the engagement and what they learned from the project itself and how much that had an impact on their education and history. One interesting story from a student. She was a Pakistani immigrant and she found a Pakistani activist who she had admired and nominated that to be the person who they interviewed. And had to come back into the music world. Well, we stood this up to our God. And as she took this leadership role in her group to do the interview, and it's really influenced not only that class, but it's breathed new life into academia for her. And the Protestant sector, we would paint on gable walls at the side of buildings to show our identity, to show our problems, to show our vision of the future. We find pupils eager to learn, eager to find out. I had kids there today who have English as a second language and they were all motivated. We're going to back to try and get more teachers involved, try and get them interested in the project. See, it doesn't have to be civics, it can be English, it can be history, it can be religious education. We feel the Civic Voices program fits in with many areas of the curriculum. It can enhance what they deliver in the, in the classroom and could interest the children. It's the first massive uh, non-violent movement in the Philippines to fight with the dictatorship. It has been a very insightful and exciting two-week adventure in the United States. It's not just workshops, it's not just seminars and talks. It was also very good to interact with other uh, educators. Uh, from the other participating countries. Uh, we got to know about the progress of uh, the project in their countries, the challenges, the possibilities. As a teachers union, we have a very particular role to play in which our members mold the young minds of the next generation. And so the AFT has a fabulous opportunity to build up from the grassroots a generation of citizens who see themselves not as passive tools of the government, but as active players in their own governance and their own affairs. The address is www.civicvoices.org. It actually has two civic education projects living on it right now, Student Voices and the International Democracy Memory Bank. So both have a lot of resources. For teachers, there's a project resources section in there that has a lot of different activities, lesson plans, handouts, things that they can use with their students.